welcome back to reviews and wheels right uh today you're joining me inside another compact suv right so yeah we know how we do it here in reviews and wheels compact suv after compact suv right so before i speak about what vehicle we are in what i'm sure you guys can already see but yeah before we speak about that uh, i'd like just to say um please do share the channel with your friends and family subscribe and like the video and you know just do the most with what you can with the link right so today we're inside the Renault Duster compact SUV by the way it is a compact SUV and first impressions of the vehicle right was the LEDs it has beautiful signature LEDs um, I love how the vehicle looks the color is actually cayenne orange right I used to think it was Arizona orange but it's actually cayenne orange right so um, heading into the theoretics of the review it is a 1.5 liter diesel though it's a diesel engine so yeah it has four cylinders six speed automatic and then it has 80 kilowatts and 250 newton meters of torque so those are the the numbers of the vehicle right like you know so it's priced at 394,900 that is the price of this exact vehicle at the exact same spec right so let's start with the exterior of the vehicle right so from the front the front is very very good looking i love how the vehicle looks especially in this this orange this orange actually attracts a lot of eyes a lot of eyes it's actually one right there passing in front of me so let's follow it <laughs> no, I'm playing. so anyways um as i was saying the the exterior of the vehicle the front is really 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 beautiful i love how like the, also the leds it has leds and then uh, at night it switch on, switches on the light but the lights are actually halogen lights not led lights like the headlights the daytime running led headlights right and then 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 it has fog lights at the bottom it has fog lights as well right and then from the side the car looks like it's actually quite bigger than all the other compact suv vehicles that i, I got i think the suspension is a bit higher yeah i should say the suspension is is a bit higher than most vehicles right so from the side it looks really good as well it has roof rails as well it has black and silver roof rails so like the bottom part is like black and then the top is like silver and it has a signature written duster right so that is from the side then from the back from the back it has the duster written in a bit of a mirror effect you know it has the duster written in a bit of a mirror effect and then from the back it's, it looks really good i'm actually looking at one now so i am explaining what i am seeing right so the the tail lights give a little bit of a jeep feel i don't know if it's the grand Cherokee or no no not the grand Cherokee. sorry one of the older version uh jeeps have that same tail light like you know that signature thing right so it has that and then it has reverse sensors by the side and it has a camera just like under the duster right so that is that from the back right now heading into the interior interior we have a uh, analog instrument cluster which shows you fuel and then you these buttons also on your steering wheel and everything but i'll get to that i'm just speaking about the instrument cluster right now so the top speed is 210 you know which is which is quite good right and then in the middle is like a block where you can see your fuel economy and your averaging kilometers and etc etc correct now heading to the steering wheel and other things by the steering wheel steering wheel on the left it has the cruise control plus and minus resetting and yeah then there are two buttons here i don't know what they are for because they don't even press those are the two buttons that are here then on your right hand side we have a voice command and the up and down button that is on the right hand side so now by the steering wheel it has a leather feel to it which is really like i like i like it and quite responsive you know 
once you do this, you know, you can feel okay, no, the cars, understand, right? So under the steering wheel, towards my right, it's like a little lever, but that is to control the infotainment system, right? So it has the mode, source, volume up, volume down, and the, what you call, the voice command as well, right? Cool. Now, heading into the infotainment. Infotainment is a seven inch touch screen it has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth connectivity, and so forth. You know, uh, like it, right? So, uh, this car actually has similar features to the Nissan Magnite that we had on test in March, the blue Nissan Magnite. So, it has a similar, you know, uh, features to it, right? So, this one has cameras all round, except it does not have um, what you call. 360 degree camera so um, you can see towards your right hand side of the car you can see towards the front and then towards the left and the back so how that happens it's actually a button which you press that shows okay so now you can pick where you wanna like go like what do you wanna see you wanna see the front do you wanna see your left hand side if you parked in the within the correct lane or the right hand side within the correct lane or the back if not is your is your tail facing uh out, out the street or not right so those are the features that are here this car is echo mode i tried echo mode two days ago two days ago echo mode was really it was calm it's just it brings a bit of weight to the car so you can't really exceed a certain kilometers well I, I was driving because i was cruising and i was at 70 kilometers which was really like, like it was good for me because i wasn't trying to speed i was just relaxing and and all that right so that is the button there and then that's automatic climate control which is actually on as we speak it's automatic climate control so and then here um what you call it's where you put the key because it's keyless entry keyless entry keyless entry and then it has a push to start button right push to start button and it also has smart lock so basically how the the smart lock works is if the key is in your pocket and you approach the car or the vehicle rather the car automatically unlocks right so the car will automatically unlock and then you can open it but the car will not start if the key isn't inside right and it's a push to start i did mention it so one thing i like about the vehicle right is once you open the car and you get in it's like a Renault theme song so it like welcomes you to the car it makes you feel at home that's one thing that i like so it, it's made me feel superior in a way because you enter the vehicle and it greets you it's like it's like you're saying hello and, and then you just get like you go on with your day so but like when you switch it off it doesn't do anything but like when you switch it on it like it greets you which is really welcoming uh big ups to Reynolds for that and then now we're gonna talk about the seats so the seats are very very comfortable a bit stiff not too bad though not too bad but okay i, I don't know how it is from the back but from where i am sitting the driver's seat i like it because it also has an armrest for me which is here which is just for the driver though. armrest for the driver and i like it because you know when you just drive and you just like you feel at home when you just control the car so now you want to speak about the boot the boot is 475 liters 475 or 470 yeah 475 liters of boot space which is which is quite big um, I know how I am explaining it by the the boot space and the liters. It doesn't sound like a lot, but once you have a look at it, oh my days, very very big. It's very spacious. I won't lie to you guys, right? So um, now when I speak about the drive, do I like the drive of the vehicle? Absolutely. It is a diesel, so we are bound to hear the the engine. You know, we are bound to hear the engine and. It is, um, what can I say, a compact SUV, so it does go through rough patches, like maybe bumpy roads, it handles that very well. Um, I did go off-roading with the car, and 
it is better than the, the previous vehicle that I had, which is the Vitara Brezza. But, but, and listen to why I say but, right? So this vehicle suspension, as I said earlier on, it is a bit higher than the ones that I've had on test, right? So obviously the suspension improves the overall drive of the vehicle. The overall drive of the vehicle is, is, is way better. But then one thing that, okay, no, it's not, it's not one thing, it's not one thing, right? So do I like the vehicle? Yes, I like the vehicle. So now we've got into that segment where we speak about the things that I like and the things that I do not like about the vehicle, right? So, uh, what I like about the vehicle, number one, is the signature LED lights. And after the signature LED, LED lights, I like how, how quick the pickup is, actually, right? And then, I also like the fuel efficiency. Oh my days. I actually forgot the fuel efficiency, right? Fuel efficiency of this vehicle is claimed 4.8 liters per 100 kilometer. I've been averaging 5.2. And that is the best I've ever averaged in any vehicle. 5.2 noise, noise, noise. So I I don't know. This car <laughs> very fuel efficient. I won't lie. Ever since we got this car, I only refilled it once. Just so I could see how much the full tank is and like estimate around about the, the full tank, right? So one thing I like, I'll say there's the things that I like now, right? Things that I like is the LED lights the fuel efficiency how the vehicle looks um how it feels in the car and the things that i don't like about the vehicle hmm. well okay the seats aren't too comfortable so maybe they could have i don't know maybe softened the fabric a bit or something but it it, it looks like it's leather but it's not leather so yeah that's one thing that i don't like about the car another thing is okay no there's no other thing that is the only thing like the seat the seat right and then oh yeah also connecting to bluetooth or apple carplay sometimes you don't want to use apple carplay and you just want to use like bluetooth right so you have to like switch on your wi-fi off because it connects wirelessly so that for me is a process because what if i'm in a rush and everything like that but that, that's just me though that's just me it doesn't have to be like it's not a chain smash for anybody right so now we got into the part of the vehicle where we speak about recommendation would i buy it and would i consider it so would i consider the car would i buy the car and would i recommend the car yeah i would i would recommend the car i'd buy the car and i'd consider the car so here are the reasons why I would buy the car, right? Firstly, the color. The color and the LEDs. Beautiful, amazing. When the first, when the car first came, I got attracted. Like, I was like, you know, ooh, like I was attracted to the vehicle because of how it looks from the front, right? So that's why I would, I would buy it. Yeah, that's why I would buy it. And then another thing, another thing is because I like how it feels inside and everything that not, th not everything some things that you need in a vehicle you have in here so the likes of apple carplay android auto all the things that you need are actually in the vehicle so i recommend it to your moms actually I'd, let me just say i recommend it to the middle class middle class aged uh 20 26 26 to 40 yeah at most 26 to 40 at most i'd recommend the vehicle too and then uh, would i consider it i would say consider it guys uh great car especially fuel efficiency wise that is like tops fuel efficiency i feel like in this day and age we all need a car that is fuel efficient right so that is that so that is the end of the Renault Dasta review this is the intense I did say it is a six-speed automatic diesel uh, in cayenne orange and yeah so if you would like to drive this car you can just visit your nearest Renault branch book a test drive and 
feel how it drives on the road and you know if you like the car then go for the car you understand and then that is love from me i am saucy wolf from reviews and wheels and i'll catch you next week for another review i have i have a lot of things coming for you guys but stay tuned guys i really appreciate the love and keep it locked